Uh, I look at it as a it's a 180 minute game really, um, and you know obviously with with us being at home in the first game, we want to set the tone a little bit for um, for the event. So um, it's important that we you know we come out with the, the right attitude and the right mentality, and um, you know we find our way into the game quickly, much quicker uh, much quicker than the last couple games and. Um, yeah, we, we pushed to try to score some goals and get on the on the right side of the tie right from the beginning. So um, that's my that's my strategy. I want a group uh, you know that's motivated because we want to try to we want to try to win this this event. It sounds like uh, Sheru Benoit says he's feeling good and is healthy. And must you must be uh, breathing a sigh of relief to, to get a veteran like that in mid, back in midfield. Yeah, it's great to have Ben um, from a number of ways. He's just such a a calming experience presence around the group and just with being out for so long he hasn't been around the team as much the last uh, you know couple months really um, but also on the field he's so uh, he brings a nice presence and calm and leadership and um, he, does, he has a good way about him to, to give confidence to other guys uh, and so it's um, yeah it's nice to, to have him back as uh, as an option but also I know the players like to have him back because he's you know he's capable of um, you know, helping them along too. Those, those guys who can who can play outside of himself and encourage and help other players along the way. How do you plan for a game like tomorrow? Uh, traditionally, uh, these championships teams, uh, depending on the schedule, uh, coaches have used dug into their squad and, and given Canadian young Canadians a, a chance. Do you have any idea what kind of Montreal team you're going to face tomorrow night? I don't. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't really know what even their what their selection looks like. Um, obviously, they had a um, a little bit of a different back line in the last game when uh, when we kind of pulled that up. So I don't know. I don't know exactly what their injury report is. Plus, they have their internationals away, and and then as you said, kind of philosophically, I don't know how they want to approach that. That's always the big question mark in these events. So um, we we haven't spent really any time thinking about what they might do and how they might do it. Um, we're trying to get our group prepared in a quick turnaround to, to be the best version of ourselves um, to try to get the result tomorrow. Do you have any injury concerns? Endo, what's his situation? Yeah, Endo is, uh, <clears throat> he is on his return to play protocol, what I would say. He's, he's approaching the right side of it, but uh, not quite there yet for him. Um, uh, aside from that, I think it's it's mostly sort of internationals um, and you know the guys that, that we know are um, you know questionable Seba and, and the guys like that. But everybody else, I think, is more or less in the right position.